Welcome again to this series of modeling practices. In this video, I will show you step by step how to make this dustbin in Blender. Let's get started. Press A to select everything, then X to delete. I will start by adding the cylinder and then press F9. Set vertices to 24, change the cup fill type to nothing, press G, then enter 1 to position the cylinder on the grid. Go into edit mode with the object selected. Press S to scale the object to something like this will be enough. I will select the top vertices to reduce the height a little bit. Select the bottom vertices, then press S to scale to have the shape like this. Press Ctrl plus R to add one loop cut here, then right click to confirm. With the edge selected, Press Ctrl plus B to add bevel. Scroll with the middle mouse to increase or reduce the number of segments. I will add 11 segments. Go into face mode. With all those faces selected, you can come here to face, then click poke faces. Go into edge mode and select these two edges, then press Shift plus G to select edges with similar length. Now you can play with the threshold to ensure the edges are selected to the required length. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl plus I. I will deselect this edge while holding Shift and Alt. With those edges selected, press Ctrl plus X to dissolve the edges. Hold Shift and Alt, then double-click these edges. Press Shift plus G once again to select an edge with a similar length. I will go into the wireframe and deselect these edges while holding Ctrl. Go into face mode. With those faces selected, press I to insert the face, then press I again to insert individual faces. Press X to delete faces. Now select the bottom edges and press E to extrude and S to scale. You can hold Shift plus Z to snap along the Z axis. I will extrude again and grab along the Z axis. Extrude once again and scale. To fill the hole, press Ctrl plus F and use Grid Fill in order to have a good topology. Now select those edges and add a bevel. Two segments will be enough. I will select the top edge, extrude and scale out. Extrude again, then move along the Z axis. I will add another loop cut here. With these edges selected, grab along Z axis to something like this. Now add the Solidify modifier to add thickness to the model. You can play with this value if you want to reduce or increase thickness. After this, I will add subdivision surfaces. Increase the level to 3 to have a smooth surface. Now you can right click and shade smooth. Now we have finished modeling the dustbin. And it looked pretty nice. That is it for these modeling practices. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned something. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.